Hey guys, Proto here, and welcome to another how-to video. Today we'll be color coding our footage in Sony Vegas. As you can probably guess by the title, these few tips will make your gameplay look that much better and stand out. I use these in all my gaming videos, mostly COD and Titan 4. You can apply the same effects on pretty much any video. Saying that, I thought I'd share the goodness with everybody. The gameplay was recorded with my Gata and we'll be putting out a review soon, so stay tuned for that. So without further ado, let's jump into the video. So this is the video of Dragon Dropped into the Vegas timeline. As you can see it's had no colour correction done to it and it's quite simply just a plain video recorded from my Gato. That's exactly what we want. First of all what we'll do is we'll disable resample which will get rid of the extra frames that Sony Vegas creates. We'll do this by right clicking, clicking on properties and then disabling the resample. After that we'll actually apply the video effects by clicking on this little icon here which says event effects. So after we click on it we'll come up to this and you basically want to select Sony Color Corrector Secondary, Sony Color Curves, Sony Saturation Adjust and Sony Sharpen. After that click Add and OK. Now you actually want to reorder this into the order that you want because Sony Vegas works in a layer hierarchy. Um, it's a little bit difficult to explain but basically you just stick it to this order so you want to have Color Corrector Secondary, then you want to have Saturation Adjust, then Color Curves and then Sharpen. So I'm just going to deselect these for now and the first thing I'm going to do is change it to the settings that I've got on here. By adding Color Corrector it will make the video look a lot less washed out. Now this does make a huge difference but it already looks a lot nicer. So once you've copied those settings down we're going to go into Saturation Adjust and select this preset I've got on here. I'm going to select that and as you can see it makes a huge difference by making everything like the colours like red, blue, green, pretty much all of the vibrant colours stand out a lot more. So you want to copy the settings that I've got down here and um, I'm sure you know how to make a preset but if you don't it's basically enter all of these things here then go up here and name it and after that just click on this little icon which is save preset and then you can use it every single time instead of having to re-enter the figures constantly. So after you've got the saturation adjust which is these you go into color curves and color curves is a little bit difficult um, because you have to sort of adjust these parameters and you've got to play with it a little bit but I've made this which sort of darkens it slightly but at the same time makes it more contrasty so it looks a lot nicer. It's just by raising this one up a bit and if you go to the bottom one just sort of creating an S-curve if you like. After that, um, once you've copied that down sort of as close as you can, go on to sharpen and we'll go on to the preset that I've made here. We'll click on that and this makes it look a lot smoother and less blurry and so if you want to see the difference before and after this is before and this is after if we're going to run it though this is what it will look like So yeah, this is a good idea to use on your YouTube videos, gaming videos. Um, I've used Advanced Warfare as an example, but you can apply this to Titanfall, Minecraft, pretty much any like game that you can think of. This also works as sort of standard color correction for any video really, but this is what I find to be the best settings for um, the videos that I use. Thanks guys for watching. Got any comments? Share them. Also comment down below and tell me how you color correct your videos. This has been Proto, and I'm out.